And as you can see from Katira's shot, and this one as well, beautiful out there today. We've had a really nice stretch. David James is joining us now, but all good things, sir, must come to an end, huh? Yes, it's been terrific the past several days. And, uh, you know, in April, you can't count on dry weather lasting mm -hmm. that long. So there is some rain in the forecast this weekend. Also, a little bit what we're dealing with today, we've kind of built up the air pollution without any rain to wash it out. So looking pretty hazy out there as we look from downtown toward, from the speedway to, towards downtown. And uh, many other counties in, cent in central Indiana uh, kind of seeing that same thing. The air quality, not that great. Just uh, goes till midnight tonight. I think then it'll start to get better probably tomorrow because it'll be more windy. And over the weekend, we will wash some of that stuff out of the uh, atmosphere the way it looks now. So camera looking towards downtown. Again, a little bit hazy look there at 79 degrees. Uh, just a very light wind. That kind of adds to uh, seeing more in the way of pollution. But weather-wise, here's how things are shaping up uh, the next few days. It stays warm. It's getting more humid. You may have noticed that a little bit today. Isolated shower, so mostly dry weather late Friday and also Saturday afternoon, but most of the day should be dry. Now on Sunday, that could be a different story. There's a front moving through, more in the way of some showers then. We're watching two weather systems, one here to our south, low pressure area spinning around, trying to send some uh, moisture in the atmosphere our way, and another cold front way up there to the northwest, so those will kind of come together and we'll end up with those uh, chances for showers over the weekend. Uh, uh, slow movers, both of them, low pressure area not moving too much. This one out to the west of us, it's a long way away. So in between, we'll keep that dry weather, probably another day at least. But you can see how that's uh, sending some moisture to the north, trying to kick off a few showers. And the low pressure area will track on off to the northeast. This one kind of dissipates with time, but uh, by then it will have added some moisture to the atmosphere. So when this cold front gets a little bit closer, that's what could kick off some showers, especially during the day on Sunday, uh, the way it looks now. Now, uh, six degree, six mile per hour for the wind, so light wind. Uh, uh contributing to that uh, air quality that not being so great. But windier conditions out to the west of us. We'll see more wind tomorrow. 79 degrees out there right now. The overnight low temperatures where normally we're in the 40s. It's only 56 for the overnight low here. 51 at South Bend. And again, the average high temperature is 63, and we'll be up to 76 once again tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, uh, we start with, with temperatures in the 60s, way above average. And then during the day tomorrow, it's back into the 70s once again. Here's your eight-day forecast, and there's those chances for showers coming our way, uh, mainly on uh, Sunday. But we could see some also on Saturday, and the ones on Sunday could spill over into Monday. So now, after a long string of dry weather, we've got some April shower-type weather coming up in a few days.